Good morning, dear children. I am Mrs. Shubhra. Teacher is again here with first chapter of civics that is democracy. Children, as we are knowing, India is a demo democratic country, and everyone who live in India is having is equal before law. Every citizen of our country has a right to challenge against unjust. We are having the right to challenge. on if we will see on different level different democratic institutions are there if we will see on state level it is different if we will see on country level it is different if we will see on village level it is different and with the help of all these democratic institutions we are able to fight against unjust because we are having the right of it let us see the example of village panchayat village panchayats are the democratic institutions at the local level in village panchayat all people are having the right to discuss and decide on issues concerning their life in the village whatever the issues are there in the village they are having the right and they are able to discuss on these issues in the village panchayat and there only they get the decision on the issues there are actually there are different types of government in the world but our india has a democratic setup which guarantees the certain basic rights to all its people whatever people are there in india we all are having we all are having the certain basic rights now everyone who live in india whether they are belonging from different religion from different class caste or the gender whether they are rich or poor all are equal before the law and we are getting the right also equally before the law to understand more about democracy children let's understand the meaning of democracy first now see to understand what democracy is we first need to have an idea about other forms of government see children from the beginning we are we are looking that different forms of governments are there not only this direct or indirect democracy but different are there which are those for example absolute monarchy dictatorship see children what is mean let us see what is meant by absolute monarchy absolute monarchy means the rule by a king or queen king or a queen only having the right to speak or to take decision in absolute monarchy not the people now the next is a dictatorship what is meant by dictatorship rule by an unelected or powerful dictator in dictatorship only the dictator are having the right to speak and to to take decision and this dictator are unelected not they are not elected by the people see as monarch and dictator they are having the powers and they are above the law but democracy is very different from the rule of king or dictator democracy is not like the rule of monarch key or the dictatorship in dem then what is in democracy in democracy people are involved in the formation of government whether it is directly or indirectly but in the formation of government the people only are involved let us see how in democracy children there are two forms of government are there direct democracy and indirect democracy democracy now let us see what is meant by direct democracy direct democracy means the government is elected and run directly by the people here government is elected directly by the people but direct democracy is not practical today because if that population is large it is not possible to follow the direct democracy because the direct democracy is directly run by the people only for example india as india is having large population and it is not possible to follow or to work the direct democracy in india but what about indirect democracy or representative democracy see children in most countries including india direct democracy is not possible so they follow indirect democracy in indirect democracy people elect their representatives for a fixed term as we are knowing about election as in election the people go and vote for their representatives and they elect their representatives for fixed term as government is decided 
term for the representatives and for that fixed term only they are elected by the people through election now these representatives only run the government behalf of the people as people directly don't go there to run the government then only the representatives run the government behalf of the people now let's see the meaning of democracy democracy means the rule of the common people what is meant by democracy democracy means the rule of the common people now let us see the meaning of democracy democracy this word is derived from the greek word that is the democratia now democratia that is the combining of demos and kratos now the meaning of demos is common people and the kratos means the power so the meaning of democracy is the power of common people means in democracy we can see who is having the power common people only because they elect their representatives and those representatives only run the government that's why democracy means the power of common people but children with the time the meaning of democracy has changed if we if we see the democracy in ancient greece women and slaves they were not having any right to vote at all only those who were the uh, means famous personalities or the uh, means that um, rich citizens of the country they were only having the right to vote not the women and slaves but in 18th century again it is started to take shape if we will see in the year 1893 New Zealand became the first nation to grant equal voting right to all citizen so if we will see today most countries in the world are democracies as most countries are accepting the direct sorry indirect dem- democracy democracy only because as day by day the population is increasing and direct democracy is not possible so that's why they are following the indirect democracy only because the indirect democracy they granted to their citizens equal voting rights see children famous personality abraham lincoln made the definition of democracy that is the democracy is a government of the people by the people and for the people means who is the supreme power in democracy only the people the supreme power lies with the people only so children in next session again we are going to meet with some important topic of this lesson till that have a good day thank you